It's always really difficult to know where to start decorating a house and doing our own interior design. But everyone can do it and it's really important to identify your own style. I did this 18 years ago when we bought this cow buyer and had absolutely no idea what I was going to do in the interior. How I started was to get a pile of old magazines and I tore out pictures of rooms that I liked the look of and made a great pile of kitchen pages and sitting room pages and bedroom pages and went through them afterwards and saw that there was a common denominator flowing through all of them. For instance, things like I like painted floors. I didn't like painted exposed brown beams and this and that. So I could actually begin on um, creating a sort of cohesive scheme for my whole house. The other thing I realised that I liked was the idea of soft colours occasionally on curtains and stronger colours on walls. That can be interesting as opposed to having a sort of creamy wall with a coloured curtain. So after that process of, of, of looking at my tear sheet, I decided to start in the kitchen. But in fact, in the kitchen, I didn't really have a blank canvas because I had an old sofa that I couldn't afford to recover and an old rug. And funny enough, keeping them was really nice because it kept a bit of history and stopped the room looking too self-conscious. They were lovely, um, had lovely colours in them. And really, I drew on the, the rug for inspiration for the wall colours. And I think I threw an old throw over the sofa until I could afford to cover it at a later stage. I hung little bits of fabric up near the windows or draped over, over the backs of furniture, painted squares of paint on the walls next to the fabric, lived with them for a bit, changed them if necessary, and that's how I decided on what to use. I found that using three colours in a room is often much more successful than just using two. The third colour can make everything more interesting but less obviously teamed up and matching. You can bring in the extra colour in the carpet, in a sculpture, paintings, or just an extra cushions. It doesn't have to be a large feature. Books, shells, glass bowls, or flowers, all these can add in more colour. Paintings are important, and on my site we have a gallery where the artists and residents who live with us put up some of their beautiful works. These you can buy online. I originally decorated this kitchen with straw oak coloured walls duck egg blue and a little bit of red. So when I went on to decorate the next room, which was a sitting room, I took one of those colours, which was the red, and majored on that colour in the second room. And that helped the two rooms flow from one to the other, made them beautiful to look from one room to the other as well, and seemed like a good plan. And I took that theme on really around the house. I set up my business to empower you to do your own interior designs and make your own choices about fabrics and wallpapers and paints. I hope by looking at my website, ordering a brochure and samples, you'll get enough inspiration to do this and to be happy with the result. Good afternoon, Vanessa Abathnot Fabrics. You can also ring and talk to my team who are all very experienced at using my fabrics. You can also order samples over the phone. Then get your paints and do as I did and see if you feel comfortable with them all placed together in the room. There's also my book, The Home Sewn Home, which is full of inspiration. Then you simply need to take your measurements for curtains and blinds. Also, on the made to measure section of my website, you can find a short video which will help you make your choices. If you need to, ring us up and we'll talk you through putting your measurements into and placing your order online.